All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We think live. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. We got a S trying to organize here because the players started without hanging us. So you know, light shame on you guys. All right, now we're good. So off it goes to Martin Third's hands, and uh, yeah. Okay, sorry, we're having some tech issues at the moment. It would seem. The enemy so far, uh, though, some some nice back and forth between these two teams. I guess we'll have to do like a radio style play by play. <laughs> Maybe subtlety in the meantime. Uh, try pressing the like in OBS. Just go directly to the scene itself instead of using the buttons. Maybe. Try that. Sends it back the Good. Other way. All right, well, we'll have to do it the old manual way. Apologies, folks, but welcome to the stream. Uh, fortunately, we're scoreless right now, so didn't miss too much action. And uh, getting back on track, so it is going to be Vision versus Alpha Ducks. Alpha Ducks on blue and on defense right now. And going in, it's going to be Dage punched out and trying to get it right back to Lowrider nicely, actually. And Oh, hey, first two right on time for the stream to catch it. Uh, I was just going to say, it's just uh, some props to these guys. I mean, yeah, they started... Uh, pretty quick but uh they did hold off putting that first goal in until the stream is ready to go so hey thanks thanks a lot for that one yeah indirect assist going to a uh, vision there and speaking of assist vision we just saw them over on vrml channel 2 uh, have a their game their passing was uh, at times a little too many passing as tutorial pointed out but they had some beautiful passes actually uh quite frequently just back and forth across that bubble so their team, who does prioritize the teamwork, and we'll see if it works out better for them here. Quick intro real quick now that we got all that settled, by the way. I'm, of course, Palador. It's a Sir Dimwi by my side on casting and so much for subtlety on the cameras. And okay, now I think that actually settles everything. We need to take care of it. Now a nice pass there. Cannot convert on the shot, though, so it's going to be taken back off that back wall and sent down low to Lil Rad, who gets the clear, and then back into the prey with all these brawls. Oh, stolen and mail slot made. Mailing that one in. It's online for Ali Dark. And both teams in this game, even before the the, the stream got got rolling there after this tech difficult during this tech difficulties, uh, both teams showing really strong defense with a really strong offense. And taking advantage of the tune of five points now off that defense. It was Ali getting the grab up there, coming through. There were a lot of brawls going on at mid. And uh, she is the one who came out of there with the nice advantage on that one. Maybe once more lining that up from deep stage. Not quite online, but going to be taken back by Martin now. And he's going to back pass it to Stoti or Alpha Ducks. Now going to send that deep into the vision side of the floor. And getting there first will be Twang Pants. But back on the defense... Now that pass nicely, but save even better. It's going to be low rider again. More defense we're seeing being played this time and now cleared again. So we'll see if they can get the boost as well. Actually, it'll be virtual there. It goes for the mail slot. Not quite on. So Martin will rebound that off the stun. Find the clear. Actually, Lil Rad finding the clear and trying to get that over to Stody, who finds himself on the other side of the floor as the defense retreats back to the orange goal. And just to say real quick, that was an amazing save there by Low Rider, getting that uh, cross crease pass, the cross crease pass connected, and then going for the shot off of it. Those are hard to save. It was a great save. It certainly was, and that was a good shot there from Stody, assisted by Martin. So Alpha Ducks on the board now for the two. And Tutorial Bot is in the chat as well. Hello, welcome back. And she how's shot. Go ahead, sorry. Uh, how's it from that? Uh, you know, that side of the fence. Viewing this time instead of talking. Certainly Tutorial had to uh, carry a lot of that commentating uh, duties last round, so I'm sure his voice is glad to get a bit of a rest. Uh, this time now, it's on the rollout. Stody the deep oh, shot. Oh. Wow! He just turned the corner on that island and lined that up from deep. That was just no hesitation and a thing of beauty from Stody. I mean, there's not a whole lot to be said, said about that shot after saying, I mean, that was, I mean, anybody who witnesses that shot knows that that was a hard shot and a great shot. Found the promised land with that and now trying to get it through, but 
Unfortunately, a bad bounce will result in another three that is not made by Alpha Ducks. And, well, not paying for it, luckily, and trying to back it out. So, five to five game at the moment. It is all tied up. Alley Dark and Lowrider looking for that boost. They will get the disc base off of that. Ali finds herself near that bubble. Might have an opportunity if she can dodge that defense. The pass slightly astray, but going to be retaken there in the deep back line for Virtual. And now intercept, though, to Twang Pants. Finds a loose clear that's just going to bounce right back. But again, these stacks, the boost coming on through. And now Alpha Ducks will try and back that out and find some more careful offense, if possible. Now Dark had a great and made a really great pass attempt uh, up to uh, Low Rider who's sitting on shield there. Would have been a really good opportunity had he uh, and a good opportunity the there for Twang Pants, assisted by Stody. That goal actually just left a bit open. Defense maybe miscommunication. Yeah, it looked like I, I don't know if that's a designated goalie, but whoever was in goal looked like he floated a little back behind that plane there, so just not there to to make any save. Yeah, and that'll happen from time to time. It always hurts when it does, but still just a two-point game. There's 346 left in this one. Between Vision and Alpha Ducks, this is the round one matchup. And now trying to find the slap. Clear Dage will. Stacks coming quickly on the back line. Look at that aesthetic series of boosts from both teams. And then the stun from Ali. Martin to retrieval. Finds Stody. Stody is going to find that avenue, but another... Maybe bad clear, just going to bounce back to him, so he'll have a second chance at the very least. And now maybe a clear and a boost if it can. And now actually a pass it was, going to bounce back off into the hands of Twang Pants. Finds the nest pass to Lil Rad. Lil Rad going a little low, little off. The shot was blocked. Twang Pants, though, is going to steal that one, take it, and now another save. That time it's Alley Dark for Vision. So some more great defense from Vision. Seeing if they can find the Vision on this goal down the floor. If only they could recollect the disc though. But they cannot. And Alpha Ducks with a lot of lot of great opportunities there, but Vision is just shutting that door. And now Martin on the other side will take that interception. Find Stody in the bow tie. Then up high to Lil Rad going low. Upside down and Going to town on that goal for the four-point lead on Alpha Ducks. That was that was just a that was a good goal by by Lil Rat. And again, I pointed this out in a in a, a game I believe last week where if you're ever wondering is there a benefit to, to turning upside down, that right there is one of those situations where if there is a benefit to it. Many players from both regions uh, over the years now adopting that. It was one of those things that were pretty rare early on. Of course. Uh, you know, Lemming being one of the earliest players, but by the time you know we got into 2018, there were several people from both regions adopting that play style, and yeah, it definitely has its uses, finding some better angles, especially uh, on the goal. And now, coming in for the boost, overshooting at first, but retaken there, Martin the third, gonna bounce back to his hands and find Twang Pants, but bit of a cluster situation going on up, so now maybe another boost and recovery. Tough angle. Cannot get the shot, but it was a fair attempt. Just through the Blue defense. Sends it back the other way. And so far, it's going to be a 9-5 to five game. And, well, four-point lead. About a minute 15 left. That disc going on through to the bubble, actually. Going to be recovered there by Martin. Martin's going to go in, but another save. Dage this time. The defense. Just a wall at the goal for Vision. One more attempt off the mark as well. So many great saves right now. Some great brawls as well. It's going to be Lowrider taking that away and sailing it away to the mid <clears throat> mid area. Excuse me. Take over, Dimwit. I got a drink. And uh, just a, a scuffle behind the goal there. Uh, Alpha Ducks getting a lot of opportunities. And there it goes in finally by Lil Rad from behind the goal. But they were all covered. Not a single open man behind the goal there. They, uh, Vision did not make that easy. And saves by, I mean, we've seen saves from Allied Arc, from Low Rider, from Dage, from Virtual. I mean, saves all around in this game. And speaking of saves, my voice is saved by the water just in time with 20 seconds left and 11 to 5. It's going to be a pass over on and miss however so alpha ducks looking good for this first round win just gonna back that out and hold on to it why not twang pants biding his time 
backing it out gently to Stoti, and Stoti with a floaty clear. Yeah, I mean, at that point in the game, you know, just let the let the clock run down. If you if you've got that lead, you know, there's there's uh, no reason to give the other team more opportunities to to mount a comeback. I mean, you know, we're still talking only 20 seconds, but even then, you know, you don't want if if you've got that lead and you can slow the game down at the end of the at the at, at the end there, just like that. Uh, if that other team, like hypothetically, if that other team gets that goal, that might you know, kind of shift that momentum in their favor going into your next series. So so good good play by Alpha Ducks to just run it down. And a quick look at some of the stats here. It's going to be Stody with the leading five points for Alpha Ducks. Uh, not far behind, though. Little Rad with a four. Twang Pants as well with two. Uh, assists going out for Martin, two for Stody, and one for Twang Pants. So good team play. And then the three saves from Martin on that end. Over on Vision's side, we can see Ali with the three points, the Lowrider with the two, and three saves for Lowrider as well as two for Ali. So, and then one piece as well for Virtual and Dage. There was a lot of nice defensive plays right in the forefront of that goal. Uh, just translating it to the goals, obviously, is where they had the trouble on the other end. But defensively, they look nice. And uh, we'll see if that continues on going into this round two. And just to quickly point out, I mean, if you look at possession times, four minutes in favor of, uh, of Alpha Ducks and three minutes in favor of, of uh, Vision, and then look at shots taken, 15 Alpha Ducks, seven Division, you will commonly find that correlation. And now going to be off on that joust. It's going to be taken there after a little bit of bouncing anyways. Finally finding a clear and seems in the far back line. Alpha Ducks will be there, but with a stack actually... And Crouching on them and Martin's gonna come out with that, but a short-range pass was very risky It's not gonna result in a three-point goal quite yet. So maybe another chance at that, but some more Brawls and just dives all on that disc so much going on right now And a lot of uh, trouble seems for either team to collect this disc and find something You know find an avenue but passing avenue. I think is what they need now here's Dage on the anchor, trying to find a pass, but Dage right back getting stunned, and well, it'll be taken back now by Alpha Ducks, and they'll find the clear, they'll find the boost, but you know not far behind is going to be some Vision players as well. It's just, that's the name of the game for these teams all across the EU. It is absolute breakneck. Back and forth. And now it's going to be Twang Pants down low, trying to find a pass. Going to take another one over to a Lil Rad. He's going to be stunned up there, so the good defense by Allie Dark. Despite not being uh, upside down either, she still managed to find that grab. And now maybe finding a shot. It's going to be a little off. Floating down low, they'll have a rebound attempt, but taken there. Stun right back. It's Dage from the back on there, getting that two-point goal. And there you go. The first two-point shots off of that. No hesitation once he found that disc. And it looks like Alpha Ducks goalie or backup goalie had just gotten there. And those that that shot, I mean, if you're not already set up, prepped for it and, and, and predicting it, that's so hard to make a save on that. It's a good shot by Dave. Yeah. It, they, they, it could have gone either way. I mean, the teams that both dove on that uh, bottom corner area. But, yeah, it was just finding the open avenue once the recollection happened. And that's kind of the risk you run if you don't get that snag down low uh, behind or below the backboard. So going to float on out as some more stacks come through. Disc in that corner pocket taken by Lowrider. Lowrider trying for a soft one. It's going to reach eventually the tap pass over to Dage. Now, sharp pass up there in that backboard to Virtual DPG. And again, was a deep a pass for the deep shot. That was good by Dage, and kind of one of those ones, actually, I pointed out in some of the other games where the pass was so long, it was probably diveable. It was, it would be a little bit risky, but I, I feel like maybe if you're on a, on Alpha Ducks, you want to risk that for that kind of long pass, you know? Yeah, I mean, you you might you might want to, and especially, I mean, that that guy's just sitting there open with no one challenging him. If he gets if he gets the pass, it's probably a goal anyway. Yeah, exactly. So it was a beautiful pass, but you know, maybe could have been contested, but maybe trying to contest this one and successfully. So right or not. And then out again, outside the bubble. So now resetting nothing else, trying to reset the offense, but actually it's going to get knocked loose now. Now on the approach, virtual, you need to take a quick shot off that post, bouncing back into the hands of Lil Rad, who will slap it out of there. 
worried about the sounds of the defense behind. But even faster on that stack, that was really nice recollection there to grab each other and find that speed. Yeah, both teams' chains working uh, really hard, really quick in the series. I really like what I'm seeing there. It, it becomes almost difficult to call these games sometimes because it's so back and forth. You know, one second you're saying, okay, this team has possession. Then it's, wait, no, that team has possession. And by the end of it, you're just worn out. But another save, Allie this time. Allie, the great defensive hands, defensive awareness. She just sniped that out of the air, basically, to deny the shot. And now on the recollect. Low Rider collecting himself a three pointer. 7 to 0 oh now for Vision. Sharp on this second round comeback after losing the first. That is great. And this, the, going back to the speed of both of these teams, just how fast this disc is moving from end to end is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, man, it's pretty awesome. So enjoying themselves a nice scoring run is Vision. Maybe gonna, nope, and I was gonna say advance on that and build upon that lead, but just a bad bounce instead. Still, though, the defensive uh, intensity of a vision just tightening up here in the second round. They're forcing turnovers, they're getting saves, they're getting the boost, and they're getting their shot opportunities very nicely here. Might even get another one if they're playing their cards right. Sailing in for that recollect is Dage, and he's gonna back it out to Ali. So Ali finds a pass, gonna reach virtual, and another one back down to Dage, so we can see Again, just very willing passers on Team Vision. And now looking for the nest. It's a two on one. Goal oh, dings three different times, it seems. Bottom, top, and bottom. It does not go in. How about, what are the chances of that happening? So many bounces, and that might result in a conversion on the other side for Twang Pants and Alpha Ducks, their first two in the game. Oh man, Vision almost playing playing that goal like an instrument instead of a net, you know, <laughs> dinging off there, uh, making me a little bit hungry for dinner. Uh, huh? Yeah, well, there you go, exactly, kind of strumming on that goal. And then on the other end, it was the guitar riff for Alpha Ducks instead. So they're the ones who benefited off that play. And maybe again, so momentum shift that they can make that. Not on the mark. Still a recollect and one more chance at it. They will make that one right in that bottom corner. So the secondary attempt brings us to a two-point game in a snap of a finger, it seems like. It was zero points for Alpha Ducks, and now they have five. And heads up to Little Rat for, uh, or props to Little Rat for making that heads up, uh, heads up play there. Just being, being available for the rebound and, and putting it right back in. Wasting no time. In the chat also, tutorial saying and boop that the record for dings as that shot misses is apparently 17 or 18. Uh, you're doing it on purpose, granted, but I almost don't believe it. That sounds impossible. That's quite a few. I know once uh, every bounce takes off at or near like 50% of the velocity and momentum. So that, yeah. would be, that would be quite a feat. Huh. Well, if it was just boop saying it, I would have had questions. But tutorial, yeah, okay. Fine, I believe you. <laughs> All right, going in for the shot. Another save, Dage this time. Across these games, across the whole series uh, today that they played, he's had a few nice ones. And well, now on the other end, it's going to be Martin still recovering that one, anyways. Now, there's still three minutes left, a little bit under three. It's a two point game. And back to the hands of Virtual DPG, who will find the dish off to Alley just before the stun. Just the same, trying to find it back to the barrier area. Dage is going to eventually find that. Now there's three defenders all clustered up for Alpha Ducks. Trying to collect that disc and make something happen. They have a lot of time to work with and the potential, but here is going to be Ali Dark looking for that potential shot for two right inside that three-point bubble. Finds the two points and advances their lead to four. Yeah, unfortunate. Study was there trying to cover that lane, but it looks like he got caught out in space and uh, just was a little bit too low, leaving enough enough room there for Ally to sneak it in above him. It was right. a great shot by Ally. And so Stody is going to try and come back. They have two minutes to make something happen, or else we could be looking at a situation where it's another one of those uh, round three determining matches that happens. We've seen a couple of those in these last uh, couple days. And now, going in. Oh, losing his arms, though. Little that is very un... Somehow makes it. How did he even get that angle in? Wow. That was insane. Uh, unfortunately, I missed 
I missed that one because I was being corrected on how I how I was saying Al Ali Dark's name. Yes. So I, I, I apologize to her. I, I didn't even notice it, honestly. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, Al Ali Dark. Now it's going to be a low rider finding that disc. But yeah, that, you're going to have to go watch that one back on, uh, on VOD, I guess, because that was a very interesting shot that happened there. But anyway, going off now to the sidewall and backing that out off the tap. Sailing past the hands just briefly of Lowrider, still collects it, but only into the hands of Stody. And here comes some of that clustered up back and forth play. We're, uh, you know, not sure who's going to maintain possession. Now, on the collection, Dage cannot get the clear off, so Twang's going to find that. Go for a deep shot, or clear at the very least. There's going to be vision players there for the rebound, with Alpha Ducks not too far behind. But we'll see. Uh, it looks like uh, indeed on another offensive attempt now as they back this out and try and recollect. It's going to be Alpha Ducks. One more pass to Barrier. Nicely oh. done for the one on one. And the tied up score in these last 30 seconds. Lil Rad, the assist by Stody. Maybe an overtime in the play right now. Yeah, Lil Rad was sitting unchallenged on that screen. Had lots of time to just wait for that pass to come to him. Stody with that heads up pass to, to screen there. Just. Gorgeous play there by Alpha Duck. Now 12 seconds to make something special happen. Lowrider taking that, needs to get rid of it quick. Does find Virtual. Virtual's gonna back that out. Deep pass, only have five seconds left. Up forward to Lowrider. Lowrider going for oh, the win God. in this second round at the last possible second. And that will be 11 to nine. Favor, Vision. Alpha Ducks won the first round. Vision winning the second. We're going to a third. And this will be the determinant in this series. Beautiful. That was just, that was an amazing shot. I mean, that's that edge work I like to talk about in game. I'm half joking when I say it, but honestly, that's that's what that is. He put it in right along the goalpost there, just making it really hard to get that full reach from the goalie. So a really, really great shot there. It was. What a way to end that. That was a, whew, that was mighty close. <laughs> just in the last, last second. That was great. And yeah, Boop saying in chat, he didn't panic. Exactly. That, that's hard not to, just with all that pressure on the line. I mean, worst case, it would have been an overtime. But still, you know, as you approach those goals, you know the clock is ticking down in the back of your head. Your heart's beating really fast. And you're like, okay, this is it. You know, this is my chance to shine. And well, boy, did he ever. And and just uh, not to detract, distract from the game at all, but uh, the Freck, uh, Frecky appears to have also missed... Um, some play there so uh anybody uh watching the game you are free to clip and publish those clips from uh, awesome plays you see so if, if, if you guys do that while you're watching the game you see something awesome happen just go ahead clip that publish it uh it'll make it'll make it easier for other people to see all the things that happen in the game all the exciting things that happen in the game and also on sunday nights as i said uh, in a game earlier that, that we're going to be doing a recap show so having those available would be amazing as well absolutely that's definitely anything the community wants to do on their own accounts i mean if they do start submitting clips and like i said there's a page you can submit it on the vr vrml website you know we can do something with those certainly I i'm still up down for doing some videos here and there and just the same dimwit is and yeah so you guys got some cool stuff be sure to submit them but that being said it's going to be alpha ducks now on this first possession of the third round he's going to find the pass down low to twang pants and right back on the delivery but just past his hands so low rider clearing it out now no one at midfield to deny it so off it will go and now it's just a game about the boost it looked like both teams having trouble getting out of that, that area there, just stunning each other out and now in the tunnel We've seen a few of these things <laughs> develop where the, that disc just gets stuck. Like right here, it gets kind of stuck in that mid area for a while where there's a lot of possession changes and trying for the shot. But it, where it gets stuck in the middle, there's a million brawls going on. Possession changes like five different times. Now going for the back pass though, seeing if they can make something happen. And now Dage oh, again, it'll sail back, but virtual the recovery. Dage as well, snagging it out of the air and panic, panicked, clears it out of there based off that grab, missed grab, but luckily for them, they get it through. And now nice stun though from Twang Pants, denying any attempt at the goal. And right back we go to the other side of the floor. Man. Oh, both teams playing so aggressively here, just making for such an exciting, <laughs> exciting third game. And now, ooh, bounce shot attempt. It's a little off. They still might have the rebound if they're careful here. They will get that. Low rider, the tough angle. Wow, low. From the corner now. He's done it from above, from below, and 
Now off the dead center of the, that backwards, the goal. Dang. Not even a whole lot to say about that. I mean, if you saw that shot, you know that was a great shot. It was. And uh, going off now, it's going to be Stody trying to find that pass. But now the attack from the stack. It's a lowrider. It's virtual. Virtual trying to brawl and give lowrider some time to find a pass or a shot. And they will find a pass to Ali in the back. Oh, hitting that corner pass, a little handoff to Lowrider. One more crossover to Dage, and there you go. Four points on the board now, and Dage getting a couple more for himself. Jeez, what a what a nice pass sequence there by Vision. I mean, just one to the other. And also, it looked like Virtual and Lowrider had a, had a really sly dribble there along the floor to start it off. That was some nice. We saw like some handoff plays there, some tap passes, cross passes. They showed a lot of the variety in the passing ability. Uh, Boop pointing that out as well in the chat. Their vision's pass. They just, they have that passing vision. It's been nice. And now, vision on that one is Dage. Gets the steal, gets the clear, partially. Yeah, Dage shutting down that pass lane. That was, that was a nice play by Dage. Now cleared into that pocket. The goal momentarily open, you know, won't be for very long, but just long enough for Dage to get that shot. So seven to zero now, a strong start in this third round, about three and a half in. Dage doing his best to get MVP of this of this game here because he's both ends of the both ends of the arena, just on on the on the disc on the ball. It's, oh my goodness! Now Stody's gonna roll out there. I also saw a tutorial on chat making the. Comparing Vision to kind of an early backlash. And now, going up for the attack. Oh, what happened there? I don't know if he lost his hand or if that was in purpose, but you know what? He went Statue of Liberty style. Never mind the fact that he's EU. And just rose it above his head like a torch and rolled himself into the goal. I just say Statue of Liberty. Uh, the Europeans showing their, their, their American... Uh, it's all I can American, think about because... Yeah. He held, He just froze with it way above his head. He was looking statuesque there, and that's what came to my mind. That was a interesting, interesting score for sure. And that's the first two for Alpha Ducks as a result. Not sure what that was, but it looked, it looked interesting. It was interesting, but as uh, as we say, uh, if it works, it works. Yeah. Okay, so trying to make it work. Too soft in the pass there, so Twang will collect that one. Shield himself and is also going to look to break up that stack while his teammates get to the front line. But the secondary stack actually is still there. Overshoot, however, so Stody's going to find that angle Ooh. shot deep from that slice. And now it's only a three point game. I mean, I didn't hear it, but I'm 90% certain that that disc dinged off that goal as it went in. That I mean, he could not have edged that any closer. That was, that was a great shot with a goalie in there. I mean, you only have so much room to work with, and he used all of it. Surgical pass or surgical shot rather indeed that was it's those angles man. They're so tough and I, I've said this in some of the previous streams where it's uh, Like you almost take for granted these days How good people are at offense how good people are at shots and accuracy because there are so many really tough shots that months ago a year ago Like this one's gonna go through for Lil Rad as well down low Tying it up at seven apiece and that's what I mean, the, the striking that we're seeing, the offensive gameplay we're seeing from so many players, individuals, and teams alike is incredible. It would blow the minds of the teams of yesteryear. Absolutely. Absolutely agree. And so, yeah, just like that, I mean, Vision had themselves the strong 7-0 and lead, but right back with a run of their own was Alpha Ducks. And we're all tied up again. I mean, another overtime maybe in the works? I'd be up for it. <laughs> But we'll see if it's uh, bounce B as Lowrider collects it for Vision on that side wall. Now pass to the backboard and smacking it down is Virtual DPG. And that that again is another example of when you when you leave that man on the backside of the goal open like that. I, he was unchallenged there. There were, there were blue players floating around the bubble, uh, but it's just no, they didn't cover that lane, and uh, he was able to pop it in pretty easy. It was just saddled up there for several seconds, uh, not either not noticed or just not being bothered to be contested. So that did result in the two points. And now maybe a three points off the back. It will be low rider now catching some fire. He has 12 points for Team Vision across these rounds. And that's not even to mention his four assists and four saves. So he is filling up that stat sheet 
uh, this afternoon Six, five, slash evening. Four, <laughs> Minding all the EU guys watching. Nighttime over there. But yeah, so rolling on out now. Three minutes left. Four point lead for Vision. But a steal as well for Vision. I'm trying to find a rebound. It will get there and maybe pulling away again. So virtual. Another three point goal. And just like that, squashing the 7 and 0 run from Alpha Ducks with a 8-0 uh, run on Vision. Vision just maintaining that aggressive midfield defense there, just shutting them down before they can even get into the zone. Here we go. So still 2.30 left, and honestly, it's still come back a little bit. It only took them two or three minutes to find those seven points on Alpha Ducks in that first run, so it is not out of the woods yet for Vision. Certainly they're feeling comfortable, but they know they have to come back here and defend, which they've been doing quite well all day long. And just like that. So down the center it goes. That was almost in, but low rider swinging on through for the dunk and the two. Yeah, we went from seven unanswered to seven unanswered, and now over to ten unanswered. So, so vision here saying, "Yeah, we did it. Then you did it to say you could do it too." Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna show you where where we believe we're the better team. And then tutorial there pointing out as well the great man-on-man -man defense from Dage up on that nest. Read that pass perfectly, so stunned it out, denied it, and that enabled that entire sequence of events to unfold with the turnover and the boost in the score. And now it's going to be on the other end of the floor, boosting in quickly. Vision maybe trying to build their lead, unable to, still trying to find the rebound and backing it out now. That's actually Martin with the intercept, and Martin is going to find an angle, but not quite enough because Dage is there in the back line for the reception. Now Lowrider taking it up, but Stody the rejection. That was a great save by Stody. I mean, that came in hot, it came in low, and Stody was able to get there and get that grab. Some great defense, some great hands, and then these, these, the speed again coming into play here as all the teams, all the members for both the teams collect themselves on defense, but actually going in is Stody again there. So trying for the man mark, but what it resulted was a one-on-one -on, -one on goal, and Stody was able to capitalize that time, assisted by Martin. Study must have noticed we were talking about Days playing both sides of the both ends of the arena here. He was like, "Wow, that's a, I'm, I'm a, I want you to talk about me too." So <laughs> doing the same, pulling the same thing, just playing hard defense and then coming back and playing good offense. Very hard nose on the defense, and now one more shot, just a little bit off, taken there by Martin the third with 30 seconds left. Alpha Duck's gonna try and bring that score ever closer, but the victory will be in the favor of Vision here in this third round. Such an exciting series it was, going into overtime in that second. And all these offensive runs we've seen from these teams. Just a great gameplay, great competitive gameplay here in week two of uh, the preseason so far. There's been a lot of killer games this week. They really have been. And this one, probably among among the better ones, maybe not this game in particular, but this series, the, particularly the, that second game, even the first one. I mean, <laughs> these teams both playing really, really aggressive offense, really aggressive defense. And uh, Hello World wins. Hello World wins. Yes, Vision taking that win in three. A uh, high score for Vision was Lowrider with a 14, Alley 5. Virtual seven and Dage seven. Four assists apiece for Lowrider and Dage as well. That was nice. And then just the plethora of saves you can see up and down the board on all teams. Uh, game high going to Martin over on Alpha Ducks. And uh, speaking of Alpha Ducks, it's a little rad with the 14 points. Stody with a nine, Twang with a four. And an awful large brawl differential coming from uh, Team Alpha Ducks there. So that was a great game. Congratulations to Vision for winning that one and Alpha Ducks as well for providing some great competition and excitement for the viewers and nothing else. They played very well themselves. Now that being said, we do have ourselves, you guessed it, yet another game that's uh, starting imminently. So we're gonna go off to that one and be back very, very shortly here. It's going to be North American matchup between the Respawn Joker and Flair. So stay tuned. Uh, I've been Palador, subtlety on the cameras, Dimwit by my side, sir, Dimwi that is. And we'll be right back in like a couple minutes. So see ya.